CBAI. Hey, what's up? This is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remaster the individual instrument and vocal parts of your song in Suno. You do need the Suno Studio plan to do this, but other than that, let's jump in there and we'll get working on it. All right, so I'm in my studio view in Suno. If you're not sure how to get to the studio, you would go along, the fastest way is to go along to the <clears throat> list of options vertically on the left, and then click on the studio button right here, and then it will bring you in there. Since I'm already here, I'm going to go ahead and collapse this so I have more room. All right, so now I have a blank space. Let's go ahead and start the first part of the process. I would recommend using your libraries feature in Suno Studio. So that is up here by the little bookshelf icon. Go ahead and click on it. And now it's going to open up various options for you. Right now I'm in a workspace called my workspace is named the title of this video. So if I wanted to get out of that workspace, I would just click the back button and then I can navigate to a different workspace along. These are all different workspaces that I've created. Or I could do something like Studio Projects. And that would bring up all the other studio projects that I've done. Or I could go to all songs. And that would bring up basically my entire library. But for today, I am going to go back to my workspace. Uh, so I hit the back button a couple times there. And what you're going to want to do is uh, select the song that you want to do the remastering of the individual parts on. We're going to be using the Get Stems feature, so I want to show you something here. I have a few songs that I haven't used Get Stems yet on it, and so they don't show anything down here. But then you can see on this song right here, uh, you can see the Stems button. That means I've already extracted stems in some way, whether it's all the stems or just I split out the vocal and the instrumental. And then you can also see that up here I did it on this track. So let me show you what it looks like if you haven't extracted any stems yet. Let's go ahead and use this one. Okay, so over on the right, once you click on the uh, song that you want to work with, um, it's going to open up in the details panel over here. And then right at this spot, you will see an extract stems button. This is if you haven't extracted anything yet. If you click on it, you can either choose all detected stems. So it'll give you, I think it's up to like 12 uh, individual tracks or which costs about more much more credits and then uh, if you do vocals plus instrumental it'll just split out only the vocals and then just the rest all the instruments together um, so depending on what you want to do you can go ahead and choose one of those I'll choose all detected stems today so I'm gonna click on that now what it's gonna do is analyze uh, analyze your track and it's going to give you two versions of all the stems split out as far as being up to 12 of them I think it is and then um, over here you have version 2 so if you use the back and forth buttons you can actually just choose between which ones you want to use it does take a while to analyze so I uh, while we're waiting for that to load let me show you what it looks like if it already been loaded up so I have over here another one and so this one I only extracted the vocals and the instruments and so they're already here if I wanted to maybe change my mind and do all extracted stems I do have the extract button right here uh, or I could just go ahead and start doing modifications let's go ahead and wait for that other track that has all of them to load up okay so my stems have loaded so the one thing I want to show you uh, quickly that will also help you out when you start remastering the individual tracks is the navigation is a little bit odd currently. I'm sure that they'll be changing it uh, in the future. But as of today, when you're down here, you can go ahead and preview all of your different stems. When you do that, let's say I want to uh, preview the drums. I'll hit play here. It's going to uh, do a couple things. When you hit that play button, it's going to create a new track uh, up here in the library area. So now you can see in parentheses it says drums. And then I also tried vocals a moment ago, uh, pre-recording. -pre and then it'll open up down here where you can go ahead and uh, uh, click around within the time frame there. It appears that if you like reset the screen or you go out of the screen, these will go away and they're no longer in your workspace. Um, so keep that in mind. If you just go back though and you hit play, they'll just come up again. A little bit odd. I hope that they fix that. It's a little bit clunky in my opinion, but uh, just so you know.
so the next thing that we need to do is I'm going to start remastering the stems. So let's say I wanted to remaster the uh, vocals here. Let me hit play on that. So I don't have any vocals till about here, uh, uh, down here in the song. It just keep on walking. It's in the darkness and the fog that you gotta see it clear. Okay, so the way that you can go in and actually remaster an individual um, track is go over to the uh, vocal over on the right here in the details panel and click on the ellipses button. Uh, and then you would go over to create right here. And then down here you have remaster. You could also do it over on the, uh, if you've pulled it up, in, if it's pulled up into your library uh, view right here, you can just go to the same spot um, and then click on that and do the same thing. I think it's overall, it's a little bit easier to look at on this panel over on this side on the right versus over here. Uh, but uh, let's just go ahead and click remaster now. And then it'll bring up this remaster uh, view or module. And then from here, you can use the remaster features and you can choose the model. Right now it's allowing me V5 and V4.5 plus. Uh, and then I can choose the variations strength of the, of, the, uh, of the remaster. I'll go ahead and click high and then click on the remaster button. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate the remasters for you in this module where you can do the more uh, focused view of listening to them and analyzing which ones you like. Uh, they'll also get pulled over here into the libraries area if you can see that, um, well, although it's a little bit grayed out. So right now, um, the, the, uh, the loading um, wheel is spinning, so I'm going to wait for that to uh, load. As a recording of this video, uh, this uh, screen is a little bit buggy. I just tried to click and it didn't play anything. It could be that it's just uh, like trying to play this blank space, but it appears that they need to fix it. So what I would recommend if you're having problems with you uh, going through and listening to it within the module, uh, you can close this out. Now you may want to even refresh the screen, so I'm going to do that. This may uh, just because I'm experiencing this literally right now, so. Um, yeah, it's uh, it needs to be fixed. Uh, if you refresh your screen, another thing that's a little bit weird is that your your original stem is gonna be gone. So I want to show you how to get there. So let's say now, okay, I did my two remasters. They do show up here, but I can't find my original now. Click on the remaster, and then on in the right in the details panel, it'll say remastered from this one. So from here, if I click on it, and then I go to create again. Uh, excuse me, if I click on the ellipses button, and then I go to create right here. I can go to remaster and then it'll just pull up my my uh, tracks again and then I could go in and I could um, create generating them so hopefully it's working for you but right now for whatever reason it's actually not even letting me like choose the time frame I want to listen to so uh, but you could like and dislike and do all that within this one screen if you want to keep creating versions uh, earlier it did work for me but right now it's not so let's say it's let's say you could go in you could click and play and listen and compare between them keep generating more or if it's not working just close it out once you hit play once over here where it says remastered it will show up um, it will show up over here so here's my original and it's got that blank space just keep on like that it's very buggy as I hit the play on the uh, the uh, vocals um, the original vocals and then when I hit, try to play another one it just kept playing them so hopefully by the time you're watching this video they fix that but anyway I refreshed my screen again it went away fine whatever uh, let's listen to the uh, remastered version right here I'm on the library area here's one of the remastered just ones on it's in the darkness and the fog that you got Okay, and here's the other remastered one. Hit and play. Just keep on walking. It's in the darkness and the fog that you gotta see it clear. Okay, so with that out of the way, we've just remastered a single. We just remastered the vocal. So let's say I let's say uh, the different options of which one I want to use. Let's say. I want to use the remastered version of B. If I'm in studio, I would just pull that into my song like this. So you could pull it in like that. And now I have it there. So now I have a new track. Uh, let's say I didn't want that. And I instead, let me uh, just delete this. All right, so let's say I wanted to pull in the original instead. There's a couple different ways. There's not just one way of doing it in Suno. But uh, I could go ahead and find my original 
uh, song if I wanted to, if I wanted to see all the tracks. So I could just click on my song and then I could go in and find the one that I want. And then I could uh, drag it in like that, just click and drag. Or I could just click this little arrow button and that will insert the track like that. So now I have the original um, instead of the remastered version. Uh, let me. Uh, one other way is if you click on your remastered track, if you can't remember which one you got the stems from, you could click on your remastered one and then go down here. If I hit play, it'll pull it up on the left right there. And then I could just drag it in like that. So that's another way. And so... One other thing that you may want to do is if you want to just add everything all at the same time, uh, you could add all your tracks in by going down on the right. So you do have to pick the song that you are you did the extract on. Go down to the bottom and then click Insert All. And that's going to pull in all of your uh, individual stems. And then maybe you want to just compare and contrast while you're listening to the song. Uh, you could say, for example, now I have all my original stems, but maybe I just want to start pulling in different stems. So I could just do this like that, and I could either um, like paste over the top of one, or if I wanted to add a new track, I would scroll down a little bit here and click on the Add Track button. And then uh, maybe since I'm doing the vocals, I want this actually more up on the top. So I could just drag, click and drag the blank new track up to the top so I could compare them. Uh, so not quite as useful as take lanes, but, uh, anyway, I could drag it in like this and now I have another one. So maybe I want to compare and contrast. Uh, maybe I want to turn them on and off right here, like on off. Okay. Uh, so I could compare that way. Um, or I could leave them both on, which would be weird. So I probably wouldn't do that. Um, so one other thing that you could try is maybe instead of using a whole different track, I could use the take lanes feature. So if you're going to use take lanes, go to the uh, track that you're doing your remasters on, uh, go up here to this ellipses button, and then click on add take lane. And now I have another take lane, so I could just drop this in there like that. And this is kind of cool because maybe I want to use a little bit of each section. I have a video on take lane, so search my channel for that if you're not sure what, how to use this feature. Um, but now, instead of having too many different tracks, I have sort of like sub-tracks. Um, and then within the take lanes, if I like one little bit of that take lane, for example, maybe I like this. Uh, uh, let me give myself a little more room here. Maybe I just only like this part from my remastered version. If I highlight it, I can actually go down here to copy to main track and then that will pull it up and now I have um, my original version of the tra of the vocal track but then I pulled in my remastered section for just this spot. So there's a whole bunch of ways you could go about doing this but basically rinse and repeat for the other tracks and this is the way that you can uh, uh, can go through and just remaster every single one individually. One other last thing I want to say is if you just click on the section header like that, it'll pull it up over back into the right with all of the uh, edits. And then you can go in and then just continue whatever, uh, whatever track you want to do. You could just go in again and then hit remaster and it'll pull it up and then you can start remastering the individuals and pulling them in. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, why don't you give me a subscribe and hit the bell notification if you'd like to get more of my videos. Leave a comment below of video ideas you'd like to see or things you'd like me to cover. And then like the video and share with your friends. Until next time, this is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one and take care.